Hello and welcome to another video. This time I'm here with some Racket NX for the first time. Um, and I'll actually, I'll go to the main menu page of this thing. Uh, okay, here we go. Is that the monkey channel? Okay, so this is the main, main menu here. As you can see, I'm searching for a game currently, which is pretty sweet that I can do that and do everything else. And I don't have auto accept on because if I'm doing really well in the run that I'm doing, then I just don't accept it. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And then uh, basically like right now it's, it's late at night and basically no one's on. The people that are are probably playing Zen mode and not trying to play multiplayer or something. But yeah, that aside, um, Racket NX here, this is, the game uh, also i'm not recording at the fov that i would hope uh, just because this is the quest only not the meta quest developer hub recording but uh back to the game so this game came from uh, one hamza which they created underdogs and underdogs as you may have seen is a great game and i've made a couple of videos on it it's it's pretty good stuff um I would say amazing stuff, uh, comparable to Dungeons of Eternity, if not better in some regards, maybe a little bit worse in other regards, but yeah. So Racket NX here has been out from One Hamza since I think 2016, maybe 2017, but basically more than seven years it's been out, which is incredible, because um, this game is it still stands the test of time in that this is definitely one of my favorite games in VR right now. and man seven years ago was made again just incredible um but they have done updates they have made it better it did start on pc vr and then came to standalone vr once standalone and actually standalone vr didn't even exist maybe it did slightly maybe it was quest one i forgot but um yeah it's it's just this is amazing um i highly recommend it if you don't have it already uh, and even if you don't like racket sports i highly recommend it i for one love racket sports i'm a tennis uh i played tennis in college and i've just kind of played throughout kind of my whole life and i'm still playing uh, after college so great game um as a college tennis player and uh there's definitely some things that translated from tennis to this game and actually i'd say a lot of things translated uh technique especially specific techniques and whatnot uh and it's kind of different where like the racket's more like a pickleball paddle than a tennis racket but you can hit the spin like you can with a tennis racket and it's just it's pretty sick uh plus i can play ambidextrous so i i do play with my left and my right hand by switching every time that i hit um whenever i need to but oh yeah no i'm kind of just like rattling off things here because it's I just found myself to be kind of hyped about this game for a second and figured I'd make a video about it when I'm hyped. Um, but yeah, so there's this stuff. Uh, I guess that kind of sums up the game there uh, without even playing it. Uh, the arcade is pretty cool. I don't need to go into that. I'm just gonna go into solo to start. Um, so here we have a campaign, which is amazing. I haven't even finished. I've like. I'm not struggling with it. I just haven't gotten around to completing it. The basics, advanced, hardcore, and insane. Just haven't gotten around to it. Eventually I will, I, I think, probably. Um, <laughs> but at the moment, not doing campaign. I'm basically focusing on monthly challenges because, look, there's leaderboards! Man! I mean, it's it's a simple concept, and honestly, every game should have a leaderboard in some fashion. Uh, Dungeons of Eternity does leaderboards based on how much you've played the game basically but this is leaderboards based on almost purely skill uh in that it just it shows your time that you can complete the level and that's exactly what i want in dungeons of eternity the time that you can complete a dungeon for a set dungeon and so these are set levels that specific people have made and it just so happens that syntech has been making the uh the recent ones because he is an amazing uh, Racket NX player. I recommend checking out his channel as well. Um, he, <laughs> uh, he still doesn't record the way that I want to. Like he, he records in portrait and uploads it on YouTube and I'm just like moaning to myself. Um, but hopefully eventually he switches to landscape and it's easier to watch his videos. Even though right now it's pretty easy because he's just amazing at the game and it's cool to watch him. He basically just completes every monthly challenge and that's that's the content he does. He did like a Racket NX podcast too, which was amazing. I'm, I'm still getting through it, but um, yeah. Aside from that, again, leaderboard, pretty cool. I'm 142. I actually got this on my first try. So uh, I completed this monthly challenge on my first try. It took me about five minutes. Uh, 
and that's actually a one star. So I did pretty bad considering you can get a three star. So it's three stars the highest, two star, and then one star is what I got. Um, so yeah, kind of crazy that I need to cut down over three minutes to get to syntax score. Uh, I think the highest I've gotten was like a hundred something on one of the other challenges. Actually, I can probably check, except it loads data. I don't need to load data. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. I'll go. I'll go back. So monthly challenge about whatever level editor editor it, you can just create your own levels with this and that is pretty amazing i definitely recommend all games to just have sandbox modes or level editors kind of like this uh and that's what that's actually exactly what dungeons of eternity eternity is doing i'm not sure exactly the way that they're implementing it yet but underdogs has done this as well um and so yeah level editors pretty pretty cool um, okay, t teammates on the line. You can see I got that invite and then they declined it. I'm actually not gonna find the game here. I just kinda wanna make a video. So yeah, no multiplayer for now, but as you can see, you can just do multiplayer. You can invite a friend or you can find a match. What I did was find a match, universes and co-op, which is pretty awesome. Um, I prefer co-op until I get good at the game or, or sorry, really good at the game. I would consider myself already good, but once I get really good at the game, I'll try to like focus a little bit more on versus because there is a leaderboard and I am currently sucking on the leaderboard ranks, um, which is, is totally fine for me, but I do kind of want this to load. Yeah, 4,800. Uh, there's not a ton of people that play this game just because, oh, and Unmarked actually beats Syntec. That's impressive. Uh, Unmarked is another really good player. I, I mean, as you can tell, like Night Creature probably is too. I don't even know him, but I'm sure he is. Um, but yeah, so there, this leaderboard, uh, it's not like I suck at the game so i'm sure there's like 10,000 people or something but eh, i'm definitely not the best and i hope to become top 1000 maybe top 100 pretty soon and i hope to compete with syntech and unmarked at some point in my uh if i can do quotes here a uh, quote unquote racket nx career but yeah so here we go um definitely my favorite sport game so far uh i can say that 100% more than 11 table tennis more than racket nx those games i love but this game's just better um it was designed for vr and i just can't say that about every game uh, in fact this would be even better if they designed it for mixed reality too where instead of like you'll see in a second there's a dome around you but if they made that dome so that you could see through to your environment for, through the dome instead of seeing through to space that would be pretty cool just because a lot of people do want to see their surroundings when they play vr games now now that it's a capability built into the headsets but yeah okay enough of my rambling let me just actually get into the game uh and for those that stuck around during my rambling and didn't just skip ahead uh thank you thank you for listening to it i guess um i hope you took some valuable stuff away from it but yeah so we're gonna go to campaign we're solo not campaign we're gonna go to the monthly challenge and it's gonna load us up so it does this cool thing where it just like uh creates the dome right in front of your eyes and then it turns the lights on and shows you the energy bars which are all around you you can see your time that you have what wave you're on and energy the ball floats start. in front of you and you can just wait you don't have to start it it'll start once you hit it and i'm not gonna hit it i'm just gonna like fake you out here <laughs> how close can i get yeah, um so i'm using my right paddle right now uh, and this would be so much better if i had meta quest developer up right now and i was using my better fob because you could actually see more of my swings but you can see my swing i'm looking down maybe you can see my torso which is pretty cool being able to see your own torso even though it's not real life torso it's better than what dungeons of eternity does, does which is no torso um but yeah so i got this I can also switch rackets whenever I want by just clicking the trigger button. So, and it like automatically engages the trigger button, which you'll see in a second. It actually does something. I can suck the ball to me with my trigger button. Um, but yeah, so it just automatically does that. I can play left or right handed. I do wish at some point that they add um, the ability to have both it out at once so I don't have to click the trigger button to change it. And I can just, and it doesn't like vibrate whenever I change it, all that good stuff. But it is cool that I can play Ambitious already without that being a permanent feature in place. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm rambling a lot, but uh, yeah, so onto this, I'm, I kind of like try to create a strategy before I hit my first shot. Um, and then once you're into it, you can't really decide the strategy much anymore. You can just have to do what you do and uh, hope that it works. But first thing that I'm gonna do here is I, I do wish I could place my ball exactly where, where I wanna start with it. 
right now I can have to like move around it, which is kind of annoying, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to try to hit for this one with my left hand so that I can hit it at an angle so that I ideally hit that cube. I don't know if you can see exactly where I'm aiming, but ideally I'm going to hit like right here and then it's going to go up against this hexagon and bounce up and go down. And so that'll, that'll activate the most hexagons and take out these things. Basically, I'm trying to take out all of the blinking red stuff, red, purple, or sorry, red, red orange, and yellow stuff, um, hexagons. And then the pluses, the plus signs, give me extra score and they give me health points. Maybe not extra score, actually. I think they just give energy. So if you're about to fail the run, you can hit the plus signs. The X signs do the exact opposite. I think it's like minus 15 health or 15% as opposed to plus 15%. And then these like box things make the ball go a little bit faster when you hit them. And yeah, I think that's all. There's a bunch of other elements in this game, but out of this one level of the level, or the wave out of the level, this is what you can see so far. So I'm gonna try to not fail it, try to see if I can complete it again. I might not be able to because I kind of just like drained all of my focus by talking and just completing it like a few minutes ago. Um, but if I can, that would be awesome. And yeah, here we go. Again, aiming right there. Whew. Let's see what I can do. Sweet. That's exactly what I wanted to do. That's exactly what I oh, that is not exactly I just totally missed. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Not exactly. That's okay. And that was good. Now. So you can also hit slice shots. Oh, which I failed that slice shot. Okay, there we go. That was decent. You can hit slice shots, top spin shots. That was a top spin. Top spin. Or top spin. That was actually that was flat. Um, okay, and then I get the ball. Oh, that was kind of bad. Nice move. Got better one there. But that was decent. Down on it. Here we go. And this sweet. Go into slice shot. Perfect. And finish it off. Oh, finish off. Yeah, so I'm basically just wasting a little bit of time at this point. Um, when I do hit those four shots. Okay, the void. I want to avoid the void. <laughs> because it basically just like reduces my time. Outstanding. Because um, it takes a while for it to get back from the void. I can also return the ball whenever I want by clicking the trigger button. It's hard to hit this. Come on. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for these other ones first and leave those for the last. Okay, not bad. Ugh, not bad. Oh, good, good. Finally got rid of it. Seven ways left. And let's get this one. It's a tough one to start with. Okay, sweet. We got this thing. Okay, perfect. That. Go, go, go. It's just a lot. Excellent. Go this way. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay, I got that. I came out of that portal. I think the portal's are random. I actually don't know yet. Um, at this point, I just need to hit it as hard as I possibly can. Whew, let's see, I'm already partly from talking so much, and partly from just this game. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh.
then look around for the OR. Excellent. Oh, shoot. Fully knocked out. That was like a game. I don't think. Top spin. Top spin. But okay, perfect. So I got my personal Set best. Set complete. I personal best. Didn't I think I bumped up like 30 ranks or something. So it's like incremental stuff that's, that you gradually get better and better. And like, I felt like I did a good amount of stuff. I don't know how I can get much better than that. And yet I am still below top 100. And it took me more than twice as much as all of the top 10 people which is just like i have to drop two minutes just to get on the top 10 leaderboard that's crazy and i mean of course the, these people have probably or, or maybe been playing since launch so maybe eight years and so it makes sense that they are like much better than i am but i do think i can get to that point i think my tennis skills translate pretty well and i think also, I've got some VR skills and gaming skills, so they should all kind of combine and allow me to get pretty darn good at this game, I hope. Um, shows you the stats over here, which... Oh, oh man, I just... I love it. Uh, boosters taken, save clutch, clutch saves, best shots. I, you know, I haven't really been this hyped since I played Dungeons of Eternity for the first time. It's just... It's one of those games that gets me like that. And just being on this, like, floating platform looking at the beautiful scenery is just... Oof. Wow. Yeah, no, you can you can tell I, I love this game. And uh, I'd say I love it as much as Dungeons of Eternity, maybe. It's definitely a different game. I can't compare the two because they are such different games, but the quality of them are both amazing. So, okay, yeah, high scores out of the way. Overall time, you can see I only got one star, so I still <laughs> I gotta get down to 2 minutes and 20 seconds. That's almost top 10 just to get 3 stars. And the last... Uh, the, the last one that I did, the last monthly challenge, I got three stars on one of my first couple tries, uh, and yet I was, like, top 400 or something, 300. Like, I, I don't think... I might have been top 100 at some point, but definitely a long time after I got three stars. So it's it's something there. Um, and actually, so Syntech, he posts the, uh, the monthly challenges every month when he completes them, which, I mean, he makes them, but then he also completes them, which is kind of great. Um, but you can go check that out if you want, like, a cheat sheet of how to do it. And, and it's not a cheat sheet because you won't be able to do it. You need the skills to also be able to execute the, uh, the strategy. So... Um, but yeah, if you want that strategy that may or may not help you, you can watch Syntex videos, or if you just want to see how much better he is than I am, go watch his videos. I'm going to try to link them in the description below. Um, but yeah, over time, overall time stuff over there, we got boosters, clutch saves, uh, clutch saves, I guess when the timer gets to like 10% or something, or the energy gets to 7% and then you finish around or you hit a booster or whatever. Boosters taken 48, that's the plus signs. Best shot, I got 1,875 points, which is pretty nice. Um, I, I don't exactly know like what's a really good shot and what's a bad shot or whatever, but that's cool. Uh, and the glowing ones I'm guess are, guessing are really good, so I'm guessing that best shot is pretty good too. The best streak, nine, seems pretty good to me. Total points, uh, 11,000. Also, like, I mean, I guess you probably have the same points when you finish, but maybe you can get more or less, I'm not exactly sure. Um, total damage, 352. I guess that's bad because it's not glowing. I don't know. <laughs> Accuracy, 66%. I'm sure it could be better. Uh, I'm sure that Syntec probably had 100% accuracy with this. But yeah, that's that. Um, again, I, I mean, I could just click again to refresh or restart the match and just try it right again. Um, unfortunately, it like loads up every time, which it's a really cool loading screen when it creates the dome and puts you in there. But I wish it just like plopped me in there <laughs> and or just like teleported me in there and automatically I could start so I could just like 
bam, 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 do it right again. And sometimes I'll have a terrible run like halfway through and I wanna just restart it. And then I'd like to be able to just click again, be right there, not have to worry about loading the whole thing up. Uh, I don't know, like maybe there's an actual loading time that they're considering there, um, but I'm pretty sure I could just like teleport there in a few seconds as opposed to like 10 seconds. Um, but yeah, exit. <clears throat> and yeah, so campaign, uh, Rackathon for the monthly challenge, level editor. I go back here. Um, I'll just like kind of show the rest of the things, not actually play them, but just show what they are. Because the, the game is essentially the same. Uh, if I did the challenge or nightmare, like whatever mode that I do, it's all just like hitting hitting a, a ball into a dome. So it's like dome, escape room, tennis, uh, pinball. I think that's a fairly accurate explanation. Um, and it's amazing at that. Also like the Saturn or whatever this, this planet is looks so cool and it's like actually moving over there that's like <sighs> yeah okay uh zen classic nightmare so zen you just kind of hit and a lot of people do this to just chill or if they're waiting for a friend or whatever classic and as you as you saw like you can wait for matches while playing the game amazing thing that every game should have but not every game has um classic it's it's classic um I, I guess it's just like random levels that you have to try to get a high score on and I'm sure some people have really high scores like Syntec. Uh, Nightmare, same thing, just harder. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Um, going back here, that was all for Arcade. Solo, we already looked at that and then Multiplayer we did too. So then I guess all there is is how to play, which interesting yeah you can just you can always go to here look at the basics look at all the kind of tutorials without actually going through the tutorial and bam it's this is a really clean interface like they do ui amazingly i would say the ui in this game is a little bit better than the ui in dungeons of eternity it's very similar but this one just does it better um They've also had more time to do it, but yeah, that's that. Uh, settings, we got how to play. Okay, so settings, there's the sound effects, voice chat music. I can always adjust that to how I see fit. Uh, in fact, I didn't adjust this before the video, so I hope that you're at, you were actually able to hear me during the video. If not, oh well, what can you do? There's an announcer that you can turn off, which I want to keep on for a good chunk of time. Microphone that you can turn off. That would actually make sense. Um, I couldn't talk to the person that I was playing for a little bit, so I have to like hold this down and flick it up. <laughs> That's why my in-game voice chat wasn't working. No wonder it was not his fault, it was mine. Okay, casting cam. Oh, there's a third person action camera. Okay, I, I just have to do this. Um, it's experimental feature and impact graphic performance. How do I do that? Your is a third party VR fitness tracker. Turn on, check out the front of your racket. That's pretty cool too. Um, OST or your own playlist. Play. Oh, wow, you can put your own music in here. That's insane too. Now playing next, send log. Okay, so that's all amazing things. You can also join the Discord. I highly recommend you yeah, join that Discord if you haven't already. Um, I, I joined it for underdogs, but I'm also in there for at Racket NX now. Um, but yeah, so there's that. That was the settings. Then I want to go for profile. And you can see all these stats, which is pretty freaking awesome. I'm a ball buster, which is the highest XP rank, not like actual skill based rank, but this is just because I've played enough to get this XP. I am the highest level, kind of like level 60 in Dungeons of Eternity right now. Um, you can see my profile picture up there. Uh, there's some achievements over there and statistics over there. Accuracy is the exact accuracy I just got in that last one. Um, pretty accurate. Customize, you can customize your character. Uh, you can do these models, um, change coats, change trails, um, equip stuff all these other things most of these are unlocked by achievements but then you can buy these four down here i am like 90 probably 99 percent sure that i'm gonna buy all four of these for i mean a total of 20 bucks not bad at all uh, and to support one hamza that they're just an amazing vr developer i highly recommend doing this uh, and dungeons of eternity please take notes because and it, it shows like it shows on my character look at my my racket as i'm looking at these 
look at that. It changes changes my stuff. So like this is the Hamza that like jiggles right under my controller. You can like test them out. So cool. This is my racket face. This is the ball that actually it's the secondary ball. This is the actual ball. Oh, and it doesn't show that. That's kind of weird. Next, and you can see like as I'm moving around and like going down and up, like this avatar, even though it's so simple, like it's it's just made perfectly for VR. Like this is what I want in Dungeons of Eternity. Um, even though what they do in Dungeons of Eternity isn't bad, I would just say that this works better in VR at the current state of the technology um, and like moving around because you don't have legs in VR. They don't track your legs. So why put legs in VR? Obviously games, it, it kind of just makes sense for maybe Dungeons of Eternity, but floating around is generally the, the best way to do it as of now. Um, okay. <sighs> oh, and then, man, these are so cool. Like, I'm, I'm gonna get these at some point. Oh, they're achievement unlockables. That's even cooler. I am 100% gonna try to get these. Um, those are my next goals, and I will not back down. I will get these, and then I will also have these, and I will be looked, I, I will look decked out AF. Uh, fairly soon. So maybe in, in my next video you'll see a decked out JJ slash burnt pan. I don't know why it still says burnt pan because I changed my name to JJ, but you know, whatever. Um, I'm going to do one more thing, test out this third person view, see if it's pretty cool. And where do we go? We have to go back one more. I'm going to do the solo campaign mode in the next level. Oh, I didn't get a three star on this. That's okay. I'm just going to go to the next one. I just want to complete the... Um, complete the mode at this point and okay in the vrs here we go load for me oh i didn't even look at what this was what this level actually does let's go um okay it's bumps lines i guess so how do i do this i just kind of have to get lucky ish yeah because you, you can't hit up and down. I mean, I guess you could hit up and hit that perfectly and go down, but then you can't go back up from there. So it's just like up, down, and then I hit up and down and then down and see if I can do that pretty well. So we'll see. It. Here we go. Oh, that was a terrible start. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted to do for the first try. And here we go. Oh, not perfect. Not exactly. Um, we got, we got the snakes, but, oh, shoot. Oh, oh, we can't go from that angle. Okay, so this is kind of hard, Good. So I don't think damage does extra splash. Roll move. 
stick with it. Final wave. Right. Oh, I don't have a splash anymore. Seven streak. Personal best, Set complete. Not quite. Personal best. I am gonna try to get three stars on everything, the whole campaign, by the way. At some point, I'm gonna do that, but uh, I'm gonna focus on mon monthly challenges first. Actually, no, I'm gonna, oof, I'm gonna focus on the achievements first, of completing, yeah, achievements for all of those unlockables, uh, and then after that, I'm gonna switch my my focus onto completing the whole campaign and getting monthly challenges like top 10 in a monthly challenge so that is that um hope you enjoyed i got the sweet button here that is I agree. Way, to go, way, to way to go advanced ahead. stage complete thank you mr announcer and yeah so next i just gotta do hardcore and if i finish four hardcore sets then i can try insane and uh, at some point i will have all of these unlocked it'll be quite epic and yeah, yeah, that is that is it for the night. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this game, if you've had the game, if you've considered the game, if uh, basically anything. If you have any racket games, I just I want to hear about your VR racket sport experience and maybe even more specifically your racket NX experience or even how it compares to Dungeons of Eternity. I don't know. Give me a topic. List one and talk about it and I want to respond to it. Um, but yeah, hope you liked the video and peace out. I will see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things and see ya.